best friends forever. People just don't understand me, and I don't care if they ever do. His name is Robert Joseph, but his family calls him Bobby. The kids at school call him Bobby the Bully. He was always misbehaving, and he tried his best to hurt others' feelings. At school, Bobby was very busy being mean, and after school, he was very busy being lazy. He wouldn't do his homework, comb his hair, or brush his teeth. His room was always messy. He threw his clothes all over the floor, and he refused to do the chores he was responsible for. He wouldn't help his little sisters or brothers, even at home. He was mean to others. All of this went on for quite a while. And do you know what else? Bobby hardly ever smiled. One day, the school principal, Mr. Caruso, called Bobby's parents into his office for a meeting. Mr. Caruso stated that he and his staff really liked Bobby and saw a lot of potential in him, but they were concerned about his behavior. He said, Bobby appears unhappy as though something in his life is missing and he's lashing out. I believe there is a way to help him improve his actions, make new friends, and hopefully find happiness. Participation in one of our school clubs could help him give a sense of purpose and I believe pride. We have several clubs in action at our school and for Bobby, I have our most popular club in mind, our homeless pet club. Participation in a homeless pet club gives students the opportunity to build their character and learn valuable life skills while working together to save the life of a homeless pet. Homeless pet clubs are popping up in schools all across the nation because kids love animals and they are excited to play a part in animal rescue. Not only do the kids have fun, but involvement in their club is a great way to put kids on the right path to be more nurturing and have really made a positive impact against bullying at our school. The clubs are mentored by a teacher or adult volunteer and meet once a month. Bobby's teacher, Mr. Marks, agreed to mentor our homeless pet club. Bobby's parents expressed concern that if Bobby joined the club, they would have to adopt a dog or cat. Pets are a big responsibility, not just a hobby, and they felt their children weren't ready for a pet quite yet. Mr. Caruso understood and assured them that this isn't how the clubs work. Then he went on to explain, once a school decides to start a homeless pet club, a teacher agrees to mentor the club. Next, the teacher and the members of the club choose either an animal shelter or an animal rescue group to partner with. Then they go to their rescues partner's website or social media outlet and collectively choose an adoptable homeless pet to sponsor. On occasion, the kids get to go to the animal shelter to pick out the animal. The cool thing is that the homeless pet chosen becomes a member of the club and not sent to the sleeping room to be euthanized, but instead sent to the happy room where it will be safe until adopted. The current homeless pet that our rescue club is sponsoring is a one-eyed dog with a sad and tragic story. Even so, his name is Lucky. You see, Lucky's family no longer wanted to care for a dog, so they left him on the side of the road late one night, and he was hit by a car. Luckily, a lady found him in the morning and took him to Dr. Michael Good, her veterinarian. Dr. Good runs a busy small animal practice and he's very involved in animal rescue. He created the Homeless Pet Foundation to help homeless dogs and cats find forever homes. Dr. Good fixed Lucky up and cared for him while he recuperated at the clinic. Dr. Good knew he would make a great pet and named him Lucky, hoping his luck would hold out and he would be adopted into a good family. Initially, some of the members wanted to sponsor a kitty and others wanted to sponsor a puppy. So they talked it out and together they decided to sponsor Lucky. Now they are sharing Lucky's story, Mr. Crusoe explained. Sharing his story? What does that mean? Asked Bobby's dad. Mr. Caruso answered, by sharing Lucky's story, we are saving his life. We become his voice and we tell his story through social media sites. 
We spread the word that Lucky is available and waiting for his forever home. Now, our next meeting will be Wednesday after school. I believe the students will be baking dog treats and crafting decorations for Lucky's kennel. Decorations for his kennel, asked Bobby's mom. What's that all about? Mr. Caruso explained. You see, the Homeless Pet Foundation holds adoptions at Dr. Good's clinic all week long. On the weekends, they hold adoptions at remote locations. This Saturday is a special adoption day because it's being held at a local pet store. Club members will adorn his kennel with the decorations they made and when people walk through the adoption site, these decorations will bring more attention to Lucky. Wednesday after school, Bobby attended his first homeless pet club meeting. Well, he sure was surprised when the whole pet club went outside just in time for a police car to pull up with its lights flashing. All the kids were excited, but Bobby was a bit confused. He didn't quite understand what was going on. But then, Officer Thomas got out of the car and greeted everyone as if they were old friends. Next, he opened the back door of the squad car and out jumped Lucky. Lucky got his usual kisses from the girls and attention from the boys, and then he sat down right at Bobby's side. Maybe Lucky knew that Bobby was sad and lonely too. Lucky stayed at Bobby's side during the whole meeting. You see, the students met Officer Thomas on career day when he came to school to talk about being a police officer. The club had painted Adopt Me banners for the upcoming adoption day and they were hanging to dry. Officer Thomas asked about them and students told them about their homeless pet club. A special club that does pet rescue? That's very interesting, he exclaimed. I've always loved animals. Do you think I could join your club? Well, this was unexpected. A police officer in the homeless pet club? Well, maybe he is worthy to be part of the club. However, the club members are very serious about saving animals, and only those who are truly committed are allowed to join the club. So they told Officer Thomas he would need to attend a club meeting. So now Officer Thomas is a very important club member, and he shows up to every meeting in his squad car with the lights flashing. And he brings a very important passenger, the homeless pet currently being sponsored. That first club meeting made quite an impression on Bobby. He actually enjoyed being in the club and looked forward to the next meeting. Bobby felt a strong bond with Lucky and he knew his family couldn't adopt. So, Bobby adopted Lucky in his heart. He suddenly realized the homeless pet club was the missing puzzle in his life and he was proud to be a part of it. Bobby made flyers featuring Lucky, the amazing one-eyed dog. He carried the flyers with him everywhere and passed them out to everyone who could take one. Bobby was determined to spread Lucky's story all over town. Bobby was so busy having fun, he forgot to be mean. He was showing compassion and being kind to others. He was creative and accepting responsibility. And guess what? Bobby was finally able to get his smile back. One time, Bobby got to know everyone in school, but one day he saw someone he didn't know. The boy looked scared and shy, the kind of person that old Bobby would have bullied. Hey, do you like animals, Bobby asked. Yes, exclaimed Everett. My family includes two dogs and two cats. Bobby knew that Everett hadn't met any friends yet, and he knew it wasn't easy being lonely. Hey, listen, Bobby said. We've got a great club in this school. We have lots of fun and we're very serious about animal rescue. If you join our club, you'll meet a lot of nice kids like me, and all of us in the pet club will have your back if anyone ever picks on you. Summer went by quickly, and when classes resumed, Bobby attended a new school. He met new friends easily, and one of his best friends is a girl named Rosie. Bobby's new school didn't have a homeless pet club. He missed being part of the animal rescue. So he was really excited when Rosie said she wanted to help him start a homeless pet club at their new school. Two of their friends wanted to take part too, 
and now they had four members they needed to start a homeless pet club. So Rosie set up a meeting with their teacher for the very next day. We'll do everything, Bobby explained. We just need you to be our teacher sponsor. We'll even find someone to help you. Easy peasy. We'll make you proud of us. Since you're an animal lover, you'll be very happy every time a homeless dog or cat gets adopted. Rosie's teacher could easily see Bobby's passion and sincerity, so of course she agreed to sponsor the club. How could she resist? Now, even though Bobby moved across town, he and Officer Thomas remained friends. Bobby was very excited to tell him about the new club he and Rosie were starting. He asked Officer Thomas if one of his officer buddies might want to join the club. After all, it turned out to be a very cool club to have Officer Thomas in it at his other school. Officer Thomas spread the word and right away another police officer agreed to join Bobby's new homeless pet club. Soon many students signed up from all classes and of all ages. Along with their teacher mentor and the police officer volunteer, they are now having fun while all working together to help others find their best friend forever.